Did I not just say that's what this was? I do this. Hey guys, it's Amaya. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm taking you along with me as I attempt my very first readathon. I'm recording this intro post readathon, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you know things went the exact opposite way of how I envisioned my first one would go. For this readathon, the plan was to read books two or four of the Twisted series. I just recently read Twisted Love at the beginning of May, and I really liked it. So unfortunately, because I really liked it, I assumed I would like the rest. <laughs> so I plan to read those without really reading any reviews or reading the back. <laughs> Not reading the back is crazy. But yeah, I didn't read the back. I didn't read like nothing. I didn't watch no TikTok reviews, no YouTube reviews. Like I literally went in blind. So with that being said, I did get a little carried away with my frustration. I freaking hate second chance romance. Dummy one, dummy two. Y'all belong together. With a couple of the books that I read in the moment post readathon, I watched the footage back. I was cracking up, but no disrespect. There's no disrespect, no hate. I was just feeling frustrated about the characters and you know, it's talking a little crazy, but it's fine. It's all love, it's all good. You'll see when I get to that point because it just, it's like a gradual just incline of frustration, being annoyed and sleep deprivation. So all of those mixed together, it was just like recipe for disaster pretty much. So to give you some context, if you're unfamiliar with the Twisted series, it starts with Twisted Love and this is about Alex Alex and Ava. Alex is Ava's older brother's best friend and her older brother Josh is very protective of her and is leaving to volunteer for his degree for a year. So he asks his best friend Alex to watch over her and to protect her while he's gone and that's how it starts between them. It takes you throughout their individual life stories at the same time that it's developing their own love story. So I think it was a very good read. I gave this a four out of five and that's part of the reason why I did go in blindly to proceed with the rest of the books. I honestly did not expect to react the way I did for some of the books, but a lot of the characters, her best friends, her brother, those are the characters that show up in the rest of the series. So next up we have Twisted Games, which is book two, and then Twisted Hate, which is book three. I do wanna say one thing though, make sure to check out any type of trigger or content warnings for the books because it is a little explicit, a lot explicit, especially the more it goes. So, you know, if you're sensitive to those things, make sure to look out for yourself. But you've been warned. I know a lot of people love this series, and I've only recently found out that there's some people who don't like it that much too. I'm on the B team. It's all cool though. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and roll it from the beginning. <laughs> This will be spoiler free, so I don't want to give away anything. Like some commentary, but not spoilers. But if you know the series, you know that they set up the next one at the end of this. Uh, and I will say I'm not that excited for that pair. Yeah, this isn't a spoiler, but it's like royal thick because she's like a princess or whatever. She's about to be queen. Princess bodyguard trope. I don't care too much for it, but luckily it's the smallest one of the three. So I'm kind of worried about it not catching and I take longest on this one out of the rest, but I'm most excited for this one. It's really 6 p.m. Luckily, I got food on the way because the focus was not going to be there at all without food on the way. It just wasn't. All right, let's start this. First book, Sister the games. I'm hoping this one pulls me in. I'm really hoping it does. Off rip. First line is crazy. What are you signing for? You bored? <laughs> okay, perfect timing. Food just got here and we're on chapter two.
Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, man. This is a horrible idea. I can't do this the whole time or I'm never gonna finish it. <laughs> man, I could have slept. I could have slept for like three hours. I wanna blame it on the bug, but I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. I think I can, can't I? I was not having this problem two days ago. If I make English tea, I can probably stay up later and crank this out. Let me finish one book today. I need water too. Alright, I need water and tea. I got this. I can do this. I can do this. Reinforcements. I'm ready. I'm ready. I can do this. I got fresh water, English tea, and sugar. We only have one logged hour, and I started this at six, and it's nine. Right, 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 right. Yep, 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 yep. The power nap was a game changer. If you think about it, that was really the best strategy right there. care for the age gap either. I feel like it's less than not even caring for it. It's like, I don't like it. I don't know. Yeah, it's ill. It's a little ill. It's a little ill. It's like three ills out of five. <laughs> An hour and 42 in, I'm finally on page 100. Is that slow? I don't know. I feel like I started reading slow, but now I'm like forcing myself to go quick. How many pages even is this? Oh no, there's 400, 434. Great. I should switch positions because this is hurting my head. I should plug that light in too. It's all good, it's all good. I caught it, kind of. Okay, sugar. Coming back. I'm not gonna lie, I would have been pissed. I would have been pissed. I would have been heated, bro. I would have been so heated. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me after that one. If it hit two hours. Wait, is the plot twist gonna be that? I'm just thinking because they gotta get around it somehow. If they could change the mm. only 18 chapters later. Jeez, y'all. <laughs> Let me chill. Okay, let's go. That Let's go, because what were we doing? Where was the plot, bro? I'm sitting here like, when we gonna get there and we're finally moving, like there's movement. Halfway through, see? I don't know. Better late than never? I don't know about that, bro. My butt is entirely too numb. I'm gonna set everything back up on my bed and see how far I make it. I really want to finish this book tonight though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it.
freaking called it. Didn't I call it? I called it. Don't be stupid. It's the third time. It's the third time. Y'all are stupid. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry. Dummy one, dummy two. Y'all belong together. Mm. That's what you get. That's what you're stupid. Cause you're stupid. Cause you're stupid. You're dumb. I counted, I counted three times. And then you did it like 10 more times. What did you expect? Idiots. Idiot! What did I say? Is a joke? I'm gonna be real. They don't belong together. This is not it. Okay. I don't like this pairing. They're both annoying. Um, so maybe they do belong together, but this is trash. No offense. to decide if I want to save my thoughts on this till the end or just get it off my chest now because y'all make me not want to do this challenge because what whatever I'm just gonna eat and get into it of course no matter what we settle down on this Officially 100 pages in, that's how much I read. Over eight hours in. I'm gonna heat up my coffee, because it's freezing. I think I'm gonna read for like 40 more minutes, get to nine hours, and then shower, get dressed, and move somewhere else so that I'm not stuck in the same spot for the whole time. Even though I've been excited about doing this challenge, the urge to just watch some Marvel right now, just some like old Marvel is so strong and I haven't had that urge in forever. Like I just want to watch Iron Man 3 and pretend Marvel didn't fall off the way it did, bro. And now that we're on the topic, Captain America should have died. Why did they kill Iron Man? I don't care, bro. I don't care. Cap should have died. His old ass should have died, bro. 
They were selfish with that one. They just wanted him to have that one line. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Cause I'm thinking about it like, actually, I don't even want to get into it anymore. 40 minutes and then a break. Cause how you beat his ass, but his friend killed his parents? Cause I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, like. You bodied his mom on camera, on tape. <laughs> Let me leave it, let's leave it. Nine hours, 38 minutes. It's 4.51 and I'm on page 204 out of 4.98. So like almost halfway. I really want tropical smoothie. So I think I'm gonna go pick up that. That should take me less than an hour to get dressed, get it, eat, and be back in the book. So I just made it to outside of tropical smoothie. The food is placed. Let me give you a quick update on how I'm feeling about the series. I think there's a very specific audience for this type because they all kind of have the same structure, the same timing, the same comments. Like after reading the first two, it's like, yep, he said the same thing in the most random time, just like the last two uh, leading males in the story. It gives Wattpad a little bit, a little bit. It definitely gives Wattpad and I left Wattpad in 2013, okay? I left it back there. I didn't really mess with it at the time just cause it is so unnecessarily cringe. Like there's a way, I don't wanna, maybe this would be better for me if I hadn't just read um, The Hating Game because it gave the wholesomeness from the male character in the perfect way. Maybe if I wasn't reading all of these, like the whole series so close, maybe it wouldn't be that bad. And this one, I enjoy this one way more than the second one. The second one, the second one could kick all the rocks on this earth, okay? I knew going in, I don't care for the royal bodyguard trope or forbidden love, but they all kind of have like that forbidden love aspect to it, which kind of makes it seem like they're all the same. But the first one, I think I could have read the first one and then never touched these and would have been fine. So it kind of set the bar a little bit. And I also like the characters more, I guess, because I don't even know how you would call it, but the main, the main guy, Alex, I thought he was funnier in the book than the second one and this one's third place. He's okay. Like the only part I remember enjoying was when the characters from book one showed up in book two. So if you see me smiling in that book towards the end for my reaction, it was because they showed up. But even then, I think I mentioned before I even started the challenge, it had a cringe aspect. The way it's written for some of it, because it'll be out of nowhere and homeboy will be on 10 and say the most outlandish shit. My food's gonna be ready in three minutes. I'm actually so starving and the coffee I drank earlier, I can still feel it in my blood right now. So, whew, I just had to get that off my chest. My food's definitely ready now, so I'm gonna be quick about going in there, grabbing that, and running to Target, and then running back home, eating, getting back into these books. <laughs> I'm gonna purposely try to read this as fast as I can just to put it behind me. It's not as bad as the second one, but I'm ready to be done with this. Chapter 26. Page 300. Chapter 37. Oh, 200 more to go. Like, what do we need to talk about and discuss for the next 200? Almost 11 hours in. Crumble cookie stays open till midnight? Wow. Shout out to them, bro. Cause I was making a deal. If I finish this, I'll go get Crumble. I think I can do it. I think I can, bro, give me one hour. Speed read, I'm more than halfway done. I can do it. Two minute nap. Two minute power nap. Timer for two minutes. Two minutes counting down. <sighs> I have to finish this book. I have to do it. I have to do it.
speed read. I'm using my finger, bro. Forget this. It's time to get serious. I just wish I was in the book. Like, I wish I was into this. Or, I don't know, I wish it was a book I liked. This, this dude is crazy. And at this point, at this point, this is why I hate second chance. This is why I hate second chance, bro. Because this is stupid to come back from this right here. It's just annoying and stupid. Yeah, whatever. This whole book is booty cheeks. I'm skimming the rest of the 100 pages. No, no, no second chances. No, I'm so annoyed. The one thing that could save this book and I'll be like, okay, now we're talking, is if they don't end up together. That's the only thing that can save this. Last chapter, thank the Lord. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, now, now it's the last. <laughs> I thought that was the last one. Is this the last one? There's a bonus scene. I don't even want to read it, bro. off my chest now I told myself if I read it in time I'm getting myself crumble cookie I've only recently tried crumble cookie for the first time last week and it hits it hits and that's my reward for suffering through that horrible book that annoying ass book I should have done more research before picking those books I blindly went in thinking okay I like the first book I should like the rest of them but it's literally the same book but they get it they get worse every time and they get longer every time that book could have been mm, 200 pages shorter that book could have been cut in half because what i just read i underplayed it earlier when i said i didn't like second chance romance i freaking hate second chance romance because nine times out of ten it's for some that doesn't deserve a second chance okay and this bug just flew in my windshield bro skedaddle bro we don't want you here Nasty ass bug trying to hit your ride. Look at you sliding down like an idiot. <laughs> All right, let me chill. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. Zane, please give me a second. The good news is I picked up those two new books from Target, and they're supposed to have you know good endings, good twists. Not a romance book. And I'm all for romance. I'm not a hater, bro. I promise I'm not a romance hater. But when it's like, spoiler warning, when y'all turn to getting it on, I'm trying to keep my channel PG, bro. Every 10 pages, it's like, what the f are y'all doing? Y'all did that 10 times. Y'all did that 20 times already. It's the same thing. And then they go for the same lines. That's It's so Wattpad coded, bro. I promise you it's so Wattpad coded. No disrespect. Seriously, no disrespect. But f bro. No disrespect, but f bro, okay? Sheesh. Sheesh, I wish I had my six, I wish I had my 12 hours back, bro. It took me six hours to finish both of those books, each. I'm really not upset, I promise I'm not. I'm just venting because I really wanted it to be good. I wanted it to be a, a book that I could just eat up, like giggling, kicking my feet, next page, next page, next page. Like I'm sitting here counting the pages down because I want it to end. I don't want to read books like that, bro. And if it wasn't for this challenge, I probably wouldn't have taken the time to read through it. I would have stopped. But yeah, I wanted to figure out the individual conflict resolutions, whatever you want to call it. And I mean, I'm glad I got to figure that out. It wasn't anything crazy though. They resolved it in a page and a half, pretty much. So like, why the f was it 500 pages? Cause y'all kept repeating the same recycle, rinse, rinse, repeat, recycle every 15 pages that's why and y'all kept you did it like 40 times so that's cool this is my reward for reading those 
<laughs> books, bro. This video is supposed to be an hour long of me shitting on her, bro. I promise. I'm just frustrated because, girl, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Okay. So, I just placed the order for the cookies. Um, I have to run to the grocery store and pick up a couple things that I was supposed to get earlier. Oh, shit. They closed in 20 minutes. Okay. Let me focus. I'm gonna get this stuff and come back home and keep reading, bro. I'm just gonna pull an all-nighter and just knock this out. Praying that these next two books I'm putting in front of the last one. Because at this point, I don't even think I want to read the last one. Because it's literally copy-paste. And the first one was better. So I'm saying book two and book three were like the same thing. And they both... Two thumbs down. Zane, go ahead and resume what you were saying when I walked in. And I'm on my way to the store. Peace and blessings. I'll be eating cookies soon. See y'all in a second. Okay, I just got back from getting my crumble and I got my lectin shield and my other vitamins. I'm so glad I picked up these other books because you want to hear my ratings? First, Twisted Love, first book of the series, four out of five. Fair. Fair. I don't think I'll ever want to read it again, but it was a nice, easy read. A few eye rolls, just a few, like maybe three or four. What's the name of the second one? Twisted Games. I had to look and remind myself because I don't want to, I just want it gone. I just want it gone. If it wasn't embarrassing to return books, like, because they, obviously they know you read it and they're like, really, you gonna come and return a book after reading it? Like, so you ain't got no, you ain't got $12 for this book? <laughs> it's not even about that. It's about the fact that I don't even want this book on my bookshelf. Because if someone comes in here and is like, oh, what's this book? I'm gonna be like, no, 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 don't touch that one. The secondhand embarrassment, I don't want anyone to know I read this. Twisted Games, one out of five. One out of five. I was gonna give Twisted Hate, the one I just read, book three, before I got to that point where I realized it was gonna be a second chance. Not everything has to be second. Whatever. Before that point, it was a three out of five. And right now, it's at a two out of five. Not as, man, hold on. Cause maybe now I'm thinking that one was worse than Twisted Games. Cause I really just didn't enjoy Twisted Games, but Twisted Hate, that bullshit at the end pissed me off. It really did. Here's my cookie. Cute, this big freaking cookie. I'm only gonna eat like half. Mmm, it smells good too. Anyways, let me show you the books I got. Please revive this video. Please revive the way I'm feeling about reading because I'm feeling like I'm wasting my time on that right now. For some reason, I always assumed crumble cookie was bad because every time I thought of crumble cookie, I thought of insomnia cookies. And insomnia cookies is so delicious. Yum. It made me feel so much better after reading those horrible books. No hate. No hate, no hate. It's hate, let me be real, it's hate. Okay, so this is the one, this is the same author as The Housemaid. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Let's switch it up. No one will ever know I got it 20% off. Hide the evidence. All right, let's do this. at the 8 a.m. I just took a shower because I did really want to wash my hair and also I don't like to sleep with wet hair so if I have to stay up until this dries the more time I have to read I'm already greatly appreciating the switch up like if I had to sit here and read the fourth book I don't know if this video would make it out I think it would be a fail I'd, I'd have to just end it edit what I have and then try again some other time <laughs> This one, I forgot to mention the little description of the book. It has to do with a lady who shot her husband five times in the face and then never talked again. And so it's about a guy who seven years later is trying to figure out like why she doesn't talk, get her to talk. It's pretty good so far, I'm on chapter eight. And I'm at 13, 15, it's 1 a.m., it's 101 officially. So I'm just gonna get to it, get back to the books. I'm gonna stay up as long as I can. Let's go, back to it, yay. More than halfway there, let's go. Woo, books, woo! I am gonna turn the camera off though and I'll update you when I get to somewhere good. She's stepping out, be honest, she stepped out. Mm. Once a cheater, ew. Ew, girl. Ew. Mm. Alright, I'm on page 109. I need to go brush my teeth because I'm feeling tired. 
not built for this. I'm not built for all-nighters. And I'm definitely not built for waking up early after all-nighters. Like, it's just not gonna work. I'm hoping that once I go brush my teeth, maybe I'll have more energy to take, like, I got a couple more chapters. But it's an interesting story. I am interested to finish it. I just... I'm just tired. <laughs> I wasted my time with those other books. I should have... I should have cut my losses and let it just go. Mm. I'm gonna read till I fall asleep. I'm just not realizing this is set in England. So I should be reading all this in an accent pretty much. Cause I just read it. I just read, oh yeah, yeah, she tried to kill me in it, in an American accent, and I'm like, bro, what's going on? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bell. All right, Sunday, I'm thoroughly enjoying the switch up. I think I said that already, but I'm gonna say it again. I literally think that's the reason why I had to wash my hair last night because I broke out in stress, scalp itching. That's literally, I think that's what happened. But anyways, apparently there's a twist in this one and it's getting good. Like I've been breezing through this book. I have three hours left and there's, I'm on page 254 and there's 354. I have literally 100 pages left. I can finish this in an hour after I pick up my food because I am on another food run. Did I say that already? I don't know. I'm gonna get a couple pages in right now while I'm waiting for it to finish and then I gotta make another stop to another restaurant. I don't want to be the chump who only reads three books in 24 hours. So I'm gonna finish this one and then I'm gonna go home and read Never Lie by Frida McFadden. And I'm gonna get an even four piece. Side note, I actually think this bookmark is the cutest thing ever. I'm realizing I was talking this whole time with the AC on. My bad, bro, my bad. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I only read 10 pages, but it's okay. I gotta go in and get the food. ERB. First stop is complete. On to the next one. Whew. Okay, stop to complete. I'm gonna go home and finish this book. First, devour this food then finish this book, hit the other book, and then uh, end of the video, bro. It's two hours later, it's time to finish this. I almost finished, woo. Okay, I'm noticing the parallel. This is what I just said! Did I not just say? Did I not just say that's what this was? I do this! Bro, I do this. I do this, bro. What? 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 There's no way you ended it like this. There's no way. It was good. It was good. Um, three and a half out of five. I wish that I didn't guess what was gonna happen. I also wish that it wasn't an open ending. I don't like open ends. I want to know what happens. So, uh, yeah, yeah, three point five out of five. If I had read the fourth one, Twisted Whatever, over this, I would have been way more annoyed. So, I'm glad I went with that one. Two hours left. Last book, a little bit under 300 pages. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. 
please. Based on the way I'm feeling right now, I'm feeling like hard. It's hard for me to pay attention and that I could cozy up and fall asleep at any moment. Less than 90 minutes left. So I'm gonna go make a tea, a breakfast tea, and I'm gonna go fill my water and see how far I can make it. There's no way I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> Maybe I can make it halfway in 90 minutes. I have to finish strong. That's gonna be it for today's video. Like I said in the intro, apologies for any exaggerated or extreme reactions. <laughs> the idiots part, I don't know, I'm not taking anything back. Am I apologizing about that either? I don't even think I'm apologizing, to be honest. To be fair, I've already tried to remove any trace or memory of this one, or both, but as soon as I finished reading this one, it's like I hit empty trash bin in my brain for this book. So I couldn't tell you specific or individual things other than the fact that give the spicy scenes some breathing room, okay? Because they need it. Let me go ahead and give a final rating on these books. 1.5 out of 5, 2 out of 5, 4 out of 5, still unread, don't know if I ever will read it, but to be determined. These two are probably both in between a 3.5 and a 4. I think that's fair for both of these. They're really good though. If you have any book recommendations, I'm taking any and all. Please let me know in the comments because I'm collecting a list. I have a huge bookcase back here, like I'm trying to fill this thing up. Let me know if you had the same feelings about these books. Please let me know because am I the only one? Am I just a hater? I don't think so. I think there's gotta be at least seven other people who agree with me. There's gotta be. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more from me, you can always subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at Amaya Lake. I'm gonna start posting a lot of my uh, ratings, I guess, for this, for any book I read on like a little story, little thing on my page. So if you're interested to just follow me or keep up with whatever I rate these, you can check them there. But anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.